Well, guys, I finally figured out the most OP thing in the entire game for PvE. You can kill pretty much any boss without actually even attacking them. So there's already a known exploit going around in the game for PvP, which is the Fire's Deadly Sin spell. Okay, incantation. And you combine it with instant death, and you catch, cast instant death on PvP players, and it's totally cheating, basically, and they're probably gonna patch it out, which means, by coincidence, this may get patched out too, so use it while you still can if you wanna play around with it. So what I'm about to show you will work for bosses. For that one, it doesn't work for bosses because insta-death does not affect bosses. In fact, insta-death hardly affects anything in PvE. But instead, what I was after, and I actually finally have found now, thanks to a comment, is a way to make this proc bleed. That is what I've been looking for, and that is what I've found. This time, it's with an ability that, from an Ashes of War called Seppuku. So you stab yourself in the gut, and now my weapon is imbued with bleed. And there it's it, there it is, that's all we need. If you've already seen the other videos, you know where this is going. So let me show you what this does to a boss. And real quick before we go to that, I'm gonna tell you where to get these items, and I have links in the description of this video below the first paragraph to find both the items that you'll need. One of them you have to grab a painting in the Fortified Manor First Floor Grace over here in the city, and I'll get you um, a thing to pop up over here and you'll go right here, and there'll be a guy who'll disappear. He'll drop Fire's Deadly Sin. And Seppuku is over by Freezing Lake Grace. Is around here somewhere. You can find all those footstep things running in circles that's invisible, and you gotta hit it. Okay, so what you're gonna wanna do is put the strongest armor you have. Put it on. Because you are going to have to just not get hit while staying near a boss. Now, I'm gonna show you on these guys, and you'll quickly realize how OP and broken this is and honestly just fun to do once you've already beaten the game and you're just looking for fun things to do in this game now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cast the Fire's Deadly Sin spell. Then I'm going to commit Seppuku. So now my weapon is imbued with bleed with an actual casted bleed. Now all I have to do is get near an enemy and it will proc bleed every like five ticks. So all I have to do is stay near him which in this case, he's running away, which is kind of annoying, but you can see where this gets OP real fast. I can honestly just sit here and heal through it and just tank it, and he will die eventually. It's totally busted. He's already halfway dead. He's got a fourth of his HP left. All I gotta do is stay near him, and it'll be over before I even realize it. So I don't actually want to finish him, though, but you quickly see where this is going. I'm gonna go do this to a boss that I actually do want to finish. So yeah, let's go try it to a uh, stronger boss. Now I'm actually gonna take off my Sword of Night and Flame because if you see on the right, I wanna get to medium load. It really is kind of obnoxious to have the fat rolling because it makes it harder to stick onto someone. But I still want a shield because what's OP, what's even more OP I should say, is that you can actually swap to a shield after casting and it will retain the buff and all the power and all this. So now I'm gonna commit Seppuku. Whoops, I took the weapon off. Sapuku, and now I'm gonna swap to a shield that absorbs all physical. Now what I can do is I can run up to this guy and I can just hold my shield. And if he does happen to hit me, it's fine because I'm just blocking. Unless I just let go of it for a second like an idiot. So he's already halfway dead, I suppose. We've already got him down, almost gone. I think I'm gonna have to re- I'm gonna have to reproc my stuff. Maybe? Maybe? No, I don't even need to. It's just that OP. And this is an end game area, guys. This is, uh, Crumbling Ferrum or whatever it's called. This is one of the last places in the entire game. So, yeah, this is- this is insane, guys. It- it's so broken, it's- it's asinine, because Bleed does percentage damage to people's health. Well, the boss's health. But bosses are not your only target, fortunately or unfortunately, depending on how you feel about this cheat. Uh, even just enemies are a breeze with this. It's so broken, it's unbelievable. So what I can do here is same thing, although these guys can grab me, but maybe it'll backfire on them. I hold my shield and I just walk up two guys, and uh, everything's cool. Oh, apparently when they grab me, they have iframes, so uh, when they grab me, it's not good. But you can see where you can have a lot of fun doing this if you're into exploits on single player video games. Uh, very, very entertaining thing to do. Very satisfying somehow. I'm gonna tell you right now, that was very oddly satisfying. Let's go do it to some soldiers. All right, this ought to be fun. 
Wow, that almost killed that guy. All right, seppuku, which gives me iframes maybe. Oh, look at this, man, isn't that fun? This is a situation, oh, I hit the button again, no. This is a situation where an enemy like, enemies like this, they can't grab you. You can just hold shield and walk into their faces and they can't do anything to stop you. Although I hardly even had to, they just kind of committed seppuku on themselves. Oh, there we go, block. That is very satisfying. That is probably the most satisfying single player exploit in this entire game. It feels very entertaining to do this after I've already played the game and done not everything, but almost everything. But let's do something a little different with it. Let's try it on some high level mobs now. See how that feels. Maybe it'll be different. One way to find out. Time to commit seppuku. So there's a really strong guy right around this corner. Let's see what he does. Wow, he can't even hardly attack back. The damage over time is breaking his AI and making him guard forever. Well, that was cool. Let's go try it on some weaker high-end mobs. There should be some down here. Let's see how fast we take this guy out of the game. Wow, that is so broken and definitely not intended at all. You can just tell this mechanic was not intended. But we'll see. I have a feeling, guys, they're gonna patch this thing out within like a week or two because it breaks PvP specifically. Look how broken that is. Oh, that's so broken. Oh, that's so broken. Oh my god, one HP. I gotta watch that HP. I forgot that burns away my HP and also the people who tap me here do crazy damage. Okay, wait, there's one I really wanna see. There's a fight down here that's actually kind of a pain in the butt to do. But with this, it's gonna be a little bit different. First off, let me just go ahead and free kill these guys. Oh, nope. Oh god, I'm actually gonna, okay. Gotta be careful that timing. All right, let's do this one more time. All right, let's clean out these guys. Boy, I almost, almost broke a sweat doing that. That was so hard. All right, let's go in here and let's fight the other two big boys in here. So all I gotta do is just hold shield. I wanna try to get both at the same time, actually, but I can't seem to aggro them. Now, there's a certain enemy I really wanna try it on which is these guys, and these guys are really hard to fight normally, but this might change everything. Oh no, he's coming for me, I'm not ready for this. All right, let's see it. Oh yeah. That changes everything. Oh, this guy does not stagger even when he takes bleed damage. Very satisfying. Changes the entire game. Takes the difficulty away entirely. That's so broken. That's so broken, guys. And very satisfying. Very, very satisfying. And here you guys go. That's like the most OP bleed build exploit in the entire game. It's totally ridiculous. I'm sure it's gonna get patched out though. So definitely, if you're into this kind of stuff, enjoy it while you can because there's a very, very high chance. Just because it was discovered around the launch of the game, there's a pretty high chance this will get patched, mainly because it completely ruins PvP. If you've seen the other video I had, oh god, it, it completely breaks PvP. So, uh, the more people that use this kind of stuff, the more times it'll get reported, and the better chance it'll be fixed for PvP. Now, I don't know if it'll also be fixed for PvE, I'm not sure what they will do, but as of right now, when I made this, it's like, it's March 9th, 2022, and it's, it works right now and it's totally busted. It's really fun, honestly, especially if you're one of those players where you've beaten the game already and you're just looking for fun, neat things to do and try out different things or try killing enemies with a shield or you know doing all sorts of the fun, like random stuff you didn't do your first time around. This is one of those things. This is really, really fun to do on your second playthrough or even on your first if you're one of the people who just like cheating right off the bat. If you like cheating in single player games, you're gonna have a blast with them. I mean, it is hands down the best cheat in this entire game. It is really, really satisfying. It feels very, very entertaining to do that. So there you guys go. That is the OP busted bleed exploit in Elden Ring.